Does digital transformation sound like just another corporate buzzword? We feel you. Too many companies slap on new tech and call it a strategy and hope for the best. That's not transformation. That's tech theater. We were inspired by Jeff Winter, a global industry 4.0 thought leader. He defined four pillars of digital transformation in a way that just clicks. We've been living these at 4.0 Solution and Jeff's framework just nails it. So a big shout out to him. Here's where we take it further. We're going to explain those four pillars and then show how the Unified Namespace, or UNS, ties them all together. If you're serious about actually implementing transformation and not just talking about it, stick around. This is your roadmap. By the way, the UNS is a real-time data structure that connects every system, sensor, and app in one place in your organization. It's a single source to get all of your data. So finally, you get a single source of truth for your operations. the four pillars of digital transformation and how the unified namespace makes them work. Pillar number one, business model transformation. Reimagining how you deliver value. Instead of selling products once, you shift towards a continuous service-based model, like equipment as a service or software as a service, but for your industry. For example, let's say you make industrial chiller. Historically, you sell a chiller, you do annual service, done deal. With a business model transformation, you switch to cooling as a service, charging for performance and uptime. You track energy usage in real time, you trigger service requests automatically, and you keep a recurring revenue flowing. How UNS enables it? You need real time data from sensors, PLCs, ERP, MES, everything. That's powered by the UNS. It unifies all of your data sources into one structured accessible place, letting you scale advanced service models and automated billing with ease. You couldn't really do it any other way without a UNS. At 4.0 Solutions, we've even connected Stripe to our unified namespace using the Stripe API and a custom microservice. The possibilities are incredible once everything speaks the same data language and you eliminate data silos. Second pillar, cultural transformation. It's the difference between a flashy pilot project that goes nowhere and a company-wide transformation that actually sticks. People must be empowered to collaborate, to make decisions, and to innovate at every level, especially the plant floor. That's where the innovation actually happens. But here's the kicker. According to Emma Roloff, who recently spoke at the Prove It conference, one of the biggest reasons transformation fails is poor management and adoption. You could have the best tech in the world, but if you don't bring people along and you don't address their fears, communicate clearly and show them the why, you're basically lighting dollars on fire and wondering why nothing's changing. If that's you, let us know in the comments. Emma uses this analogy. Managing change isn't one and done. You can't say, here's the new software, good luck, and move on. You need repeated communication. Think of the rule of seven in marketing where people only absorb the message after hearing it seven times and in different ways. Don't just spam seven emails or hold seven Zoom calls. You need to meet your team where they are. Here's your objective. Explain exactly what's happening, how it impacts them, and why it matters. Objective two, celebrate small wins at every step. Show them there's a real payoff, like less manual data entry, fewer breakdowns, and then you'll get buy-in. Example, when I worked with Walker on the Firebrand award-winning project 12 years ago, I remember how he constantly documented small wins and emailed stakeholders every time, even if it seemed trivial. When we pushed major dev updates to production, when we ran a successful failover test, or even integrated X number of devices. At first it felt like overkill, but the resonance it created both within our digital transformation team and the organization we were working for was huge. That political capital kept the project alive and agile. If we had not been communicating those wins, we wouldn't have been able to gain the political capital necessary and the project could have been dead in the water. How UNS enables it. By centralizing real-time contextualized data in one namespace, everyone sees the same metrics in the same place. Teams can instantly spot and share each small win, like a new device integration or a downtime reduction, instead of waiting days for outdated reports. That constant visibility and immediate feedback loop fuels a culture of collaboration, innovation, and ownership. People don't just wait for answers, they celebrate progress and build trust. 
and this is what drives your digital transformation forward. You often hear digital transformation isn't about technology, it's about people. This is what they're talking about. Like Emma says, you can't implement technology in a vacuum. Combine the right communication, training, and open dialogue, and your culture evolves right along with your systems. Third, operational transformation, where digital transformation really hits the plant floor. You're aiming for leaner, faster, and smarter operations. For example, a food and beverage client battled constant motor failures, causing maddening downtime. With the UNS feeding predictive analytics, they started spotting early failure patterns and cut downtime by 60%, saving around $400,000 a year. How UNS enables it? When all the machines, sensors, and apps are publishing data into one unified namespace, you can see your entire operation in real time. That means automated alerts, dynamic schedule adjustments, and self-triggered maintenance workflows. No more death by spreadsheet or daylight data. Also, that contextualized data is necessary for feeding to AI for those predictive metrics. So who's still in these daily production meetings rehashing old data? Drop a comment below, we've all been there. Finally, technology transformation. Often where companies start and get stuck. It's not about chasing shiny new tech. It's about building a flexible and future-proof infrastructure that aligns with your strategy, anchored by minimum technical requirements that you set for your vendors. For example, a chemical company had 19 systems across eight different sites, and none of them talked to each other. After we layered on the UNS and integrated ERP, SCADA, and MES, we were able to take advantage of cloud analytics and feed all of that real-time data into one AI model. For the first time, they had a single source of truth across every site. How UNS enables it? Think of the unified namespace as your digital nervous system. Every system, device, or application can publish and subscribe to data in a shared infrastructure. No more patchwork and point-to-point -point integrations. You standardize context and make rolling out new tech, like AI, machine learning, edge devices, plug and play. You notice how this tech pillar unlocks the other three. You can not embrace a new business model, shift your culture, or optimize your operations if your systems are walled off or ancient. I mean, we say all the time, the three reasons that you will fail in your digital transformation journey is the wrong strategy, the wrong partners, or the wrong technology. You need all three. So here's the bottom line. Digital transformation isn't just about software. It's a complete business transformation enabled by the four pillars. And these are your framework, but they only stand if your architecture supports it. And that's why at 4.0 Solutions, we rely heavily on the unified namespace. It's not a product or a brand. It's a mindset for building your data infrastructure. So your culture, your operations, your business model, and your tech stack can transform for real. Are you ready to take the next step? Join our next Unified Namespace workshop or apply for our Digital Factory Mastermind, our flagship training program for building digital transformation skills to jumpstart your own transformation. We'll help you build digital fluency, accelerate your career, and future-proof your operations starting now. To learn more, go to iiot.university or check out the Prove It conference to see our Industry 4.0 community conference. And we'll see you next time.